Hi guys, welcome to the video, and in this video we're going to hit some stuff. So we're going to react to reactions depending how you're holding your cane, which will determine the reaction to the reaction. React to that. So on this drill, quite simple, Chris is going to put one end up in guard. The object needs to touch his shoulder. Chris cannot move until I've gone past his hand position for the touch. If I've gone past and he's seen it, he can touch me. And it's just a literally, just a, a, a small little drill. He's waiting. Your arms are longer. Exactly. <laughs> but it's just a small little drill. Okay, on to the second part of the drill. Chris is in guard position again. And all we're going to do now, Chris is using two hands. Same principle for me, I'm trying to touch Chris's left shoulder. His object, block my hand before I touch, and then to score a point. But he doesn't know exactly when I'm going to be doing it. Chris is actually looking for little clues that I'm going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second part. Let's go on to the third part now. Okay, now we look at a little bit dangerous one for me because I've got to try and keep my balance. We're coming up for the bonsai. And all I'm doing is as soon as I'm in this position, which would be here really, is I'm going to drop his hand and come over for the attack. Chris is going to block, take my hand. You see Chris is actually moving, whereas I can't, unfortunately, so I have to come in almost a straight line to him, where Chris has actually got that body turn. But as you get faster, and then it starts to get silly. But Kevin, not everybody does Wing Chun. Yeah, that's true. Now, if we took this as a basic karate drill, Kevin would throw a nice punch, we could block and we could do this kind of routine. I, I instantly start doing yeah. sparring blocks. So, but it's gonna be the same thing. Punch, you've seen this hundreds of times, I could be blocking this way. But it's just, when he's arm, now I'm not looking at this. If I look at this, I will get tunnel vision, and eventually what will happen is that. So I'm looking at this area here. If I do my left hand. Left hand. So he's then, I know he's gonna punch me because he's done that. So I will be, I'm not looking here, I'm looking at the area of death. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Yeah, but you can change around what you do. If you say, like, box will come in, I might just pat the block. You may do this nice big block, you might be doing this. Your system, where you behave, will determine it, but it's the drill. As soon as I've blocked, I'm not going to stand there, well, I've successfully blocked that old chum. <laughs> so it'll be my reaction. If it's a drill, I go here. In reality, I would get him onto his dead side. I'm going to make him block his ribs with my fist. Block his ribs with my... Don't you mean block your fist with my ribs? Potato, potato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. What I'm going to do is take my trusty foam stick so I don't get hurt, stand in front of the bag in a relaxed but aware position. And what's going to happen is at some random point, Kev is going to give me a tap. And when he taps, I'm going to strike the bag. Once I've done that, I'm going to assess my situation. Is he done? I can't strike him multiple times off of that one altercation because I would get into trouble. So I'm just doing my one, is that enough? Is he still coming? Am I still under threat? Am I aware of my situation? This is great if I happen to be face on with my opponent, but I might be here, I might be browsing or talking to a camera and there's an opponent there. So not all, not all attacks are from the front. They could be from the side or I could be chatting away to a man with a oh. stick, blah de blah You 
you can see how the angles change there. There's a reason for that will be coming up pretty soon. Yeah. He's on this side. Oh, even easier. We like easy. Nice and simple. It's the kissing principle. Do a nice technique and you'll get a kiss from your lovely lady friend. Keep it simple, stupid. Oh yeah, I prefer my option. We've just used the standard grip, but if you're doing a nice Kevin Finksy grip when you walk, it will change what you do. I walk sometimes with my cane in the centre grip and I just happily bimble on minding my own business. As you know, I rather silly sometimes put this over my shoulder. My hands are full using a cash point, using a convenience. And if I'm standing around chatting, I quite often you see me holding it like this. So each one of these different ways you grip will change what will happen when you do this reaction drill. So it's good to practice the grips that you use all the time and change the scenarios for them. We know what you're thinking. We is psychic, we is. What if your hand is not in the grip? Can you still do the reaction bit? I was thinking a stake, but I see where you're coming from. Okay, so let's look at these positions. So I'll go for the feeling grip first. And you're going face onto the bag. Anyone will be facing that way. So another position. So, so with the Phoenix. That's the Phoenix grip. Next grip, Chris. Oh, I'll do the old mid shafty wafty. Okay, and I'm just going to go tappy poos. Tappy poos? Yep, and you change it. And it's like tappy poos. Quite like the tappy poos. Okay. Next position. Uh, the proverbial cash point, I suppose. Okay, you're at the cash point, and the cash point attacks you. Well, I'm on to five. My bank account, it probably will. So now I'm going to act as the cash point, and the bag is going to act as the the nasty bad man. Oh, pressing your buttons. Go. Oh. Tell no. And we've got one more. Now, Chris and I do quite a lot of live seminars, and he always he does always stand this way or this way. I tend to do this way these days. Yeah, I know. I've noticed that you you got a bit lazy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we even got oh there. You need, you need that's my key eye. Distracts them. So you can do it from different multiple grips. Grind shot. Everyone needs a good grind shot. So these are little drills that you can do. So now, as with every drill we do, we'll extend it. So on this bit, I'm just gonna have Chris face the bag, and I'm gonna have him close his eyes. And the same as before, I'm just gonna tap, opens his eyes, locates, and attacks. Eyes closed. All right, and this is when we have everyone turn around and say, why are we doing this? So I'm gonna change positions with Chris. He's gonna go back a little bit. Now you may have seen this on a previous video. Chris is gonna close his eyes. He's gonna go around in a circle. When I, not yet, when I say now, he's going to count to five loudly. But your magic wand was forcing me. Well, ah, oh, right, okay. Once he gets to five, he's going to stop. He's going to keep his eyes closed so that he doesn't have that sort of ataxia, dizzy, sort of drunk feel. As soon as he's stable, he's going to open his eyes, locate the bag, and attack. All right, Chris, you want to put your stick on the floor? Close your eyes, go around. One, two, three, four, five. And eyes open. So a nice little drill, how does it feel? It 
you looked like that pedestrian this morning when we were driving there. <laughs> okay, so let's extend it even further, shall we? Oh, joy. I'm bringing a really important part of this technique in drill. Is it cheesecake? No, it's not cheesecake. Oh. Okay, so Chris, if you could go do your bit again, close, closed, and go round, count the five. Each, me, Sam, she, go. Open your eyes and attack. You never know, you've got these stimulus that's come in, you want to defend yourself, but you may have someone innocent in the war. So I'm going to do it one more time, oh. just one more time, and I'm going to change my position. Okay, Chris, go. Hmm. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five. Open. Yeah. Nearly got wang uh, wanged. Nearly <laughs> <You> got wanged. <laughs> so these are little drills that you can actually take away with your practice, and it just gets that reaction time a little bit faster and a little bit easier. And there's just one more thing to do. But wait, there's more. There is. We have paid a handsome young man to bang outside to give us a little bit more distraction because you never know it's never nice and peaceful and calm when you're being attacked is it but we're going to try something else chris is going to engage the bag hello will you be my future wife and he's going to listen to my instruction ha! so the tap will be the attack as normal hang on he's getting up he's aggressive no he's still going He's down. Now we know there's multiple reasons for this. Um, some people have a higher pain threshold than others. Especially if they're on alcohol or illegal substances. Yes. Kevin. You know these things. because I know these you things. You have to deal with these in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. No, I have actually. Um, here's a good point. We used to train a DCI. And the first time he used an asp, because mm -hmm. they were told to strike the knee to put them down, and the guy just looked at him and laughed. He had a knee replacement, so he said, I'll hit him again and got sparks. So you if, don't know. If you've ever seen the great film, Cockneys vs. Zombies, the zombies actually chewing on the false leg. Exactly. So you, ne you never know what they've got. I mean, it happens. I've got a fairly high pain threshold because I'm on a lot of pain meds. So I can take a lot more pain than, say, a me. normal person. <laughs> well, I mean, you can take quite a bit of pain. You know me, after all. Oh, I've had your cooking. Aha. Uh -huh. So remember, in your head at all times, is this legal for me to do? Am I taking the appropriate response for the appropriate action against me? If they get up, again, personally, I like to use my voice, stay down, stay back, not interested or just the word no leave me alone exactly there's also one more thing to add on to this go for it so we've done haha -ha, we get the tap tap each we've done the proverbial and he, is he down he's down and i might be like Phew, that's all right oh no bonk so, in comes his mate so be aware that they may be more than one that's the other issue as well so little things there may or may not be a really hilarious outro. We know it's Chris. We know it's going to be funny. Well, guys, thanks for watching. You got this far. Absolutely fantastic. You're a star. Um, don't forget to do all the little bits that we like you to do, which is drop us a line down below. Down there. Down there. Subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. We do have merch, so if you don't mind dropping over to Teesprings, there is a link in the description. Really? There is. You don't mention it every single video. It's good that you do, because I forget. So if you like this video, don't forget, below me in the box, we've got the helicopter strikes, which are a great video to watch. Beneath me is the three by six. Would that be a negative for the three by six? Anyway, thanks for watching, and again, toodles. Take a hike, cool breeze. <laughs>